Hi, this is the Civellis Family Farms, and I went took another trip down to Mom and Dad's house, and I got I got their house done. The inside of the house is clean. I got the the shops or the goods are going to get. I put some chemicals and stuff out there that I didn't either that we can either ship or bring home or all that other stuff. But the inside of the house is clean enough that the the realtor can show it now. And uh, the only thing we got to do now is go back down there for one more time, get that tractor and a few things that are around the tractor and bring that on back. So that's what we've got going on there, and uh, got that done. I feel better. I don't. I didn't want to take any more trips down there by myself. I miss my family. I miss my home. I miss my own projects. So I'm back. I did want to say though that while uh, I, because I don't watch the news, I don't know what's going on, and then uh, had some friends tell me that they've been having some flooding down there, and I thought, oh, that's all I needed. But then I got also got to think about when we helped them move into there about three and a half years ago, uh, or a little over three years ago. They, during the two or three days I was down there helping them move from uh, Tishmingo to or Milburn from from Milburn to Caddo, they we got like 11 inches of rain and we had bridges underwater. We had just creeks way out. It was just flooding bad, and I think they had one bridge out while I was down there and I looked at the Blue River and it's way out of the banks and stuff like that but the house mom and dad's house is in good condition so that's good and I should have known better because it didn't flood last time it was raining like that but that's done I feel better mom and dad's house is done now we just go get the uh, uh, tractor and I'll be completely done with that and then mom and dad can have their fun packing unpacking all their stuff and they're at their new place uh, but, but now there's a, now I've got something I want to show you here because things have been going on while I've been gone, a little bit anyway. Last week, before I went down to Mom and Dad's, uh, after I moved the chickens, uh, you can, I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but you can, I think you can see the outline of where the chickens were, and it is, yeah, it's definitely a scorched earth type thing that we got done, that got moved, but if you look closely... That is buckwheat, and the little leaves are uh, clover. I think it's crimson clover that I planted. And I was trying to spread it out all evenly, but uh, apparently I used the wrong feed uh, spreader. And so I got like big clumps of clover here because apparently it's broken, and I was not aware of that. So if that's the right one, or if that's the one that's broken, guess what? I'm going to throw it away. But we do have some, some buckwheat and some crim crimson clover coming in, and that's kind of cool, because this place needs it. Well, we don't have a porch for the trailer, and we've been going in and out of the house working on it with a ladder, and we thought we would try to do, I tried to build this just a few minutes ago, with a couple of layers of cinder block, and then we got a scaffolding, and the only scaffold I could find, or the uh, scaffold itself is the one on the top row. And obviously the cross things are going to be the way, but we'll see. I haven't tried it yet, but I don't know. It looks more sturdy than the ladder, but we'll see. And hopefully it'll help us to get in and out of the house more easily, especially since we're trying to get equipment in and out. I knew Tom had been working out here, and he ran a, I saw the electric cord coming through. <laughs> but apparently he did it mainly for his stereo to work. I don't blame him. Let's see if I can find. I've been looking everywhere for a hammer. What is this stuff? Oh, it might be for painting. I don't know. I know he's, he bought the flooring for Kenzie's room. She wants that laminated flooring. She likes to slide on it. So that's what we're going to put her for a floor. The door that uh, was up wouldn't close and stuff, and it's just in bad condition, so we're going to have to order a new one. Unfortunately, it's an odd shape, so we're going to have to order a special order size. That's okay. That means it'll work properly when we do get it in. So it's going to be nice to have that. But well, I wish I sure could find a hammer. Tom told me he was wanting me to help with this because we bought this panel. We bought a couple of panels because some of them need to be replaced. But obviously this one needs to be replaced and so that we can line this up. But apparently he's having trouble with something here. Maybe he just wants me to hold it in place while we put the uh, strips on that holds it there. That'd be cool. And then uh, that means we can start. I can finish doing some strips on here, and then I could redo all of that paper was up on the was up on the ceilings, 
in preparation of painting, but in the heat, it all fell down. So that's kind of like, oh, look, there's a hammer. I really needed that. Awesome. At least I know where there's a hammer in now. Cool. So that's what I'm going to do now for a few more minutes is put some extra strips up on some of these places here. But we get, we're getting it, and at least we get to work on my place or our place so we can have it. A place to live. Awesome. Well, I understand why Tom wants my help on that one. I think it needs to be trimmed because apparently the wall is not straight. But we'll get that figured out next time when we can have the opportunity to work together on that. And this plain strip here, I am discovering. I mean, I knew that they had little bitty pin type size uh, type nails, but I thought, no, nah, we can just use regular finishing nails. But that's not a good idea because it splits the wood. So I'm learning as I go and obviously I have a lot to learn. Well, I've had a little bit of an interesting evening. I had a friend call me and tell me she had a couple of turkeys for us. So guess what I have now? Well, she had several, but I, I got two what we believe are male turkeys from her. And we're going to see if we can integrate them into our chicken and duck flock. Yeah. Big spider on the side of that cage. Yeah, I can't see. Isn't that one of those weaver spiders? I don't know what they call them. Okay, just set it down. You got it off? Yeah. Okay, step on over. Yes. Alright, we got them over here next to the mobile egg unit. Uh, they're not happy. They want out. And I don't blame them. But we're supposed to get some storms tonight, possibly. And I kind of wanted to... And because they can fly and I don't have a lot of trees. And we're just getting them. I think I'm going to have them sitting here tonight. And I'll let them out in the morning. And I'm sorry they're not happy. But we'll get them some food and water. And maybe they can take over and be part of the flock tomorrow. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm.